Namaste and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to try out all these products I have in front of me. So I wanted to do a full face of new products and see how it all works out. I've heard some really good things about some of these products. So let's go ahead and get started. So as usual, I'm going to prime and for that, I'm going to use the silicone free primer and this is from Good Molecules. I have already used this product and I know it really works for my skin and I really like it. And it's still kind of a new product for me. So I thought, you know, why not use this today? And I really like how this makes my makeup last all day. So I'm going to just go ahead and apply this all over my face. This really gives you like a cooling effect once you apply it. And I feel like that kind of is like shrinking your pores, you know, it's really nice. It feels really nice on the skin. Once it kind of absorbs into my skin, I'm going to take this concealer from Pretty Fresh and this is from ColourPop. And I'm going to use this in the shade 145. I'm just going to take this on the inner corner of my eye. And I'm also going to take a little bit of it around my mouth. The color is actually pretty good. I thought it might be a little dark for me, but it is good. And using this Sephora 57, I'm just going to blend it out. I really like this brush. I feel like it just makes your life so much easier, especially when it comes to blending. And I'm also taking this concealer over my eyelid as well, just so I can color correct there too and make life easier when I'm doing my eyeshadow. This concealer is actually giving me a really good coverage. I like how a little goes a long way. So far, I really like it. I think it just gave me a really good kind of a sheen. It looks like my skin, but it still gave me that coverage, which is really nice. Now, moving on to the next product, I have this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. This is a powder foundation, and I'm using this in the shade 375. So I'm going to pick up a little bit and just set the under eye area with that. This foundation is supposed to be a mattifying foundation that blurs imperfections for 12 hours. And this foundation is also waterproof, which is also really nice. Then I'm going to take the sponge that came in the foundation and I'm just going to kind of cover all over my face. I really like how smooth it is on the skin and it's giving me a pretty good amount of coverage. I do have a pretty busy day today, but I'm not going to be doing a check-in at the end of the video, but I will leave everything in the notes below. So check it out if you're interested how this lasted. I really like this foundation. How easy was this to apply this foundation? I feel like I'm so surprised by this foundation because it looks really good. And it did really cover all my blemishes. This is really nice. Well, let's see how it lasts all throughout the day. This would be perfect if you're going out or you have to be out in like five minutes and you know, you have to be somewhere presentable. I think this would really do that job. And it feels like I have nothing on the skin. It feels super light on the skin. It does look really nice so far. Okay, moving on to the next product. I have this Tardius Pro Glow Palette. This is the number three palette and this is the cheek palette. And I think I got this in my BoxyCharm or BoxyLux a few months ago. And I do really like these palettes. If you are somebody who doesn't want to put in a lot of effort, don't want to have too many products, I think this and this will kind of do the job really well. You can even do your eyes with that. That's not what I'm going to do today, but you can pretty much do your eyes with this too. This is what it looks like inside and I feel like the colors are pretty nice. So I'm going to take this color here and I'm going to bronze with that. And I'm using my Sonia Kashuk's Angle Brush and I really like this brush too because when you're in a rush, this brush really does the job. And once I have most of the product, I will blend it, but I want to just kind of place the product there and see how it looks. I like the shade as well. It's really nice. The shade is called Backstage. I don't know if I said that already or not, but that is what I'm using for contouring and bronzing. I'm also going to run this just on my jawline because I do want to sculpt with that just a little bit. Now, in the same palette, there's blush as well. So I'm going to take this blush on the top and it's called Dance Floor. So this blush is actually not as pigmented as I would like for it to be. I feel like it's not really showing up on my skin, but I'm going to try to build it up a little bit. It is building up nicely, but for me, I like my blushes to be pigmented. So I just use a little bit and then just blend it out accordingly. I don't like to build up my blush, so to say because I feel like that's just depositing a lot of product on your face. And I'm going in here pretty deep as well. Like I'm picking up a lot of product, but it's not really showing up on my skin. So I'm going to go into this shade here and it's called Premier and I'm going to see if that's any better. No, it's still same, like dusty, super dusty. 
And I do really like these palettes, like the ones I have. I think they're pretty pigmented and I think they do the job really well. But this one, for some reason, I can't really see the color so much. And for the amount of product I'm picking up, I feel like my cheeks should definitely have a lot more color. Next, I'm going to go into this shade here and it's called A-Lister. And I'm just going to highlight with that. Yeah, see how that's pigmented? I really like when I don't have to pick up a lot of product. I really like that. I'm going to take that on my brow bone as well. I like when my highlighter has that good amount of gold under it because I feel like if you're of my skin tone, that just looks really nice. If you have those days when you're in a rush, I feel like what I'm doing today is so five minute makeup. I think I could do this in like less than five minutes if I was doing it by myself. And it's really not that many products. I feel like this is such an easy go-to look, so you should definitely give it a try. Next, moving on to my eyes, I'm going to take this Urban Decay Light Beam Eyeshadow Palette. Urban Decay has really good quality eyeshadows. So I'm going to go into the shade called Influence, and I'm just going to take that all over my lid. And this shade is like a copper brown, but with like a shimmer in it. And I feel like this is perfect for today's look. As I'm blending this out, this might be the only color I might need today. This is really pretty. And because it has that sheen, looks like you have more than one color. This is perfect. So far, I really like everything I tried today. This is like really good. Usually you can have a hit or miss. And I actually have to go somewhere today, so. And honestly, I don't feel like I need another color on my eyes. I feel this is doing the job really well. I don't even think I need to add anything else. But I also ordered these liquid eyeshadows from Sephora, and these are called Tinsel Time. And I actually really wanted to try them out, so I think maybe I'll add just a little bit on the center of my lid. So this comes with four shades, and I feel like I want to try this copper one. These don't have any shade names, so I'm going to take the copper one, and I think I'm just going to apply that on the center of my eyelid. I think I just ruined my eye look because it's picking up all my eyeshadow from the bottom. Oh no, this was coming out so nice. So now that it's picked up all my eyeshadow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to build this glitter on the eyelid and see if that'll work. It's pretty, it's got like specks of gold and green in it. So it's really pretty, but just not working with my eyeshadow today. I'm going to take my finger and try to pat it out and see if they'll work. No, I don't like the glitters at all. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I would ever say that, but it's just picking up all my eyeshadow from the bottom and just making a mess on my eye. Maybe because I'm so spoiled with the Stila liquid ones, I feel like everything performs so well. But it doesn't, unfortunately. We'll give this a try one more time before, you know, I decide not to use it. So let's move on. I'm going to take that same copper color and I'm going to run that on my bottom lash and just to give it a little shadow there. Next, I'm going to take this eyeliner from Hank and Henry and I also got this, I think, in my BoxyCharm but I have never actually used this, so I'm going to do a wing liner with this. I am so surprised at this liner. I feel like this was super easy to use. Honestly, this is the quickest I've ever applied an eyeliner. This is so easy to use. I'm so surprised. Wow, this is really nice. Now moving on to the next product, I have this Lash Lift 188 from Pixie, and this is a double brush mascara. And I've actually never tried anything like this. So I was very intrigued by this. So it has one one and it looks just like this. It's just like a normal mascara one. But when you put it back in, then it has another one on the top and you open that. And then comes this little mascara wand. And this is for your lower lash. And I feel like this is such a great idea because a lot of people I know have issues with like the mascara bleeding on the lower lash. And I think that's just genius, honestly. I'm going to apply this on my top lashes first. And this mascara is supposed to give you a lash lift, so let's give it a try. It definitely gave me a lash lift. I'm going to wait for it to dry, and then I'm going to go in with my second coat. Meanwhile, I also have this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. And this spray is supposed to have a very ultra fine mist, and I've heard really good things about this. 
and it's supposed to hydrate and give you a radiance. So we're gonna go ahead and spray this all over our face. First of all, it smells so good. It actually feels really nice on the skin and I do feel like I got hydration. It does feel really nice. So I'm going to try this a few times and then I'll update you guys, but right now it feels really nice on the skin, but it can sometimes give you breakouts too. So that's my main concern always, that when I'm changing a spray or when I'm changing a skincare, I want to make sure that it doesn't give me breakouts. So I will update you guys with that in about a week or so. So let's move on to the second coat of mascara. Actually, the second coat really makes a difference. It really did give me long lashes and it did give them a curl, which is really nice. Now I'm going to take the smaller one and apply that on the lower lash. Now for my eyebrows today, I'm going to try this precisely my brow pencil and this is the fine tip one. And the one I have is the thicker one. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows with that. I mean, I like the other one, but I also like this one because it has the fine tip. So you can kind of really, really get in there and fill in the eyebrows really nice. So I do like that. Now for my lips today, I'm going to take this lipstick from Melt Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Old Rose. I actually really like the shade. I feel like this is usually my go-to shade when I'm trying to do like a nude. So I'm just going to apply this all over. To be honest, guys, it kind of smells, kind of smells funny. It kind of smells like a crayon almost. I don't like the smell of it, but I do like the color. It kind of reminds me of crayons and I don't like that taste on my mouth. I don't like that smell on my mouth, but I do like the color. And that brings us to the end of this video. And I cannot believe how easy this makeup look was. And honestly, everything I tried pretty much today was really good. I definitely really like this, you know, ColourPop concealer. It might be a little bit darker for my skin tone. I might order a lighter shade. And I also actually really like this Urban Decay Light Beam. I feel like this one color kind of did that for me. I didn't have to apply a lot of colors. I didn't have to do a lot of blending. It blended out super nicely and it looks really nice. So I definitely recommend this. I kind of don't remember how much I paid for this, but I'm pretty sure it was like really cheap. It was um, on sale, but I don't remember it. But if you see this palette, this is really nice palette to have. This foundation from Make It Forever, I feel like this is my new favorite. It looks really good on the skin. I mean, it depends how it lasts all throughout the day, but so far it looks really, really good and it blended out nicely. It covered a lot of stuff and Usually I don't expect that from a powder foundation, you know, but this is definitely a full coverage. This is probably really good to have in your purse. You know, if you want to touch up during the day, I think this would do the job really well. I'm definitely going to be reaching out for this a lot more than I thought I would. And I definitely like that. I really like that actually. Next thing I tried was this Tarte Pro Gold Palette, and I feel like this is really good. It performed well. I like the highlighter in here. I like the contour in here. I don't really like the blush so much, but I guess you can build it up so it's not that bad. I feel like this with this foundation and a mascara, that's all you really need. I think you can do a full face of makeup with this. I also really like this eyeliner. I feel like this was so easy to work with. It literally gave me the wing so easily. I was really surprised by this. I did not really expect it to do so well, but it did really good and it is really, really nice. Now these from Sephora, maybe if I use this without the eyeshadow, it might have done a better job. So I have to give this a try. I mean, the pigment is there, the glitter is there. So it does, you know, reflect really well. It does look really nice. So I will give this a try one more time and see how that goes because it kind of picked up all my eyeshadow from the bottom and I didn't like that. But if I use this just by itself or maybe I use a different primer, it might work. It blends out nicely on the back of my hand, but I don't know about the eyes. So I will give this a try one more time. I think it might do a good job. Next thing I had was this Glow Recipe Mist and I actually really like the mist. I feel it looks really nice on the skin. It feels really nice on the skin, but something like this, I like to try a few times and see if I'll break out or not. I have tried a few things from Glow Recipe and I feel like they do a good job with their products. I've not had an issue with them, but I don't want to just say I will not have an issue with this. I like to try things and I want to see if it'll actually work with my skin before I recommend this. But so far it, lo it feels really nice. Now this lipstick from Mild Cosmetics is just too strong and I don't like that smell of that, you know, wax and I don't like that crayon smell on my lips. I do have it on right now, but I am going to wipe it off as soon as I'm done filming because I do not like the taste of it. The mascara from Pixi is really, really good. I am actually very very shocked because when i looked at this brush and let me try to show you guys when i looked at this brush the bristles are so small i didn't think it was going to do anything 
but it actually does lift your lashes. It does give you the volume too, and it is really nice. And then the little one is just genius. I am just impressed and it's really, really smart and I definitely like that. And that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about these products? Any of these products you've tried, you've loved, not loved, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and I will see you next time. Ciao.